you hear the term time is muscle. It really is true. The more you delay or the more uh, care is delayed for that patient, muscle dies and heart muscle can't regenerate. So once heart muscle's dead, it's, it's dead. What EMS used to be was a load and go. We want to load them up and we want to get them to the hospital as quick as we can. But now we're staying on scene, sometimes with these cardiac arrest patients for 30 minutes. And we're working that cardiac arrest. We're getting them back. We're doing everything at that home where that patient went down. Doing everything on a timeline is very critical. Changing out on your CPR. Someone gets really tired after a couple of minutes. So if you're not changing those people out, you're not doing good CPR, which is affecting the outcome of that patient. This started off with cardiac arrest, this actionable clinical decision support tool that we're creating. It's an app, it's very easy to launch. What we're trying to do is digitize, kind of like Google Maps has done for the paper map. We're trying to take these potentially 20 to 25 step algorithms, digitize that, give you the turn by turn through these really time sensitive, high mortality events. And while you are taking your journey through that navigation, uh, being able to document in real time what's happening. If you can accurately document, you can make clinical decisions and you can clinically innovate. We think that there's real power in the data and the analysis of the outcomes from this. You can get tunnel vision. So if you have one person overseeing the big picture, along with that app tracking the progress of the call, that can say, hey, we're at two minutes. Hey, how about a shot? So anything that we can do to keep us on a timeline, making sure our medications are given every three minutes, making sure we're changing out that responder, making sure we're making the airway correct, uh, anything will help us on our outcomes of our patients. In my mind, it's all about the system supporting these people. It's not about the people uh, making bad decisions. So we wanted to do something about that. We wanted to uh, decrease medical error uh, in our healthcare system. As long as there's innovators out there like this that are putting these apps together, uh, who knows what tomorrow's gonna bring.